Hello, this is Captain Steve Tarrant from Maine Maritime Academy. And in this video, we'll be solving for change of trim and uh, using what's called the longitudinal center of gravity or the LCG method. Okay, this method works uh, in all situations. So, uh, this is uh, some data for the American Mariner. And in this problem, a lot of the work has actually already been done with, for us. The uh, kg has been calculated. Uh, well, uh, right here, okay, and the LCG has been calculated, all right, so we have uh, distances and moments. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, we're just going to go right for the solution. So here's the question. Calculate the final drafts of the American Mariner if it has an LCG of 270.6 feet, okay, that's coming from right here, okay, from this theory of moments here, and its displacement is 17,732, uh, 17, that's coming from right here. So what we're going to do here <clears throat> is we're going to need to extract um, some data from the white pages from the hydrostatic table, uh, from, or in this case from the uh, um, deadweight scale for the American Mariner. So uh, we're going to extract the longitudinal center of buoyancy, the moment to trim one inch, the longitudinal center of flotation, and the mean draft, all for this displacement of 17,732. So we're going to go to here. Okay, now if you had a different vessel, you know, you'd have a different table. This this uh, table is specific for the American Mariner. And uh, we're going to find our draft, 17,732. So that's going to be around in here. Okay. And now we're going to extract all those data, LCB, MTI, LCF. Okay. And these are the, the, the actual data. Longitudinal center of buoyancy, which is here. MTI, which is uh, here, so on and so forth. And we're going to use the longitudinal center of buoyancy in the next step. Uh, we'll use MTI in step three, and LCF and mean draft we're going to use in step four. So we've now done step one. Let's go to step two. Step two, oh, by the way, uh, let's just uh, reference these. Uh, let's locate these the various positions of these on the vessel. For the American Mariner, the uh, reference uh, location is the forward perpendicular. So that's represented by this purple line here. So here we go. The LCB is this green dot, longitude center of buoyancy, and longitude center of gravity uh, right here. Okay, so you can see that gravity is a little bit aft of buoyancy. There's going to be a trimming arm there. Okay, this vessel will trim by the stern because gravity is aft of buoyancy. Uh, and the difference between those two is the actual trimming arm. Okay, that's the blue. So uh, this is a distance here uh, that was 267.2. This is a distance here that was 270.6. So the trimming arm will be the difference between those two. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, this is the this this is the LCF. What that's showing you is that it's aft of both of those. Now these are not exactly uh, set up according to the distances. It's relative distances. The LCF is aft of all of those. In fact, it would be much closer to a midships. Uh, likely be much closer to a midships, though not exactly at a midships for most drafts. Uh, all right, so step two, let's calculate the trimming arm, also called the trimming lever, and I guess you could also call it GZ longitudinal, okay? This is all really representing the same thing. So the trimming arm, or the trimming lever, which could be represented by the abbreviation GZL, longitudinal, is the difference of LCB and LCG. So whenever we got to take those two numbers and uh, get, get the difference between them. So that is 270.6 minus 267.6. So that is 3.4 feet. This distance between these two is 3.4 feet. Okay? So now we're going to have to calculate our trim change. Okay? So the trim change is the same formula that we've used earlier, which is trim change is the trimming moment divided by MTI. All right? That's why we needed MTI. Okay? Uh, and by the way, for this method, this method works for, in all cases. We, are, we extracted all of this data for the deep, for the, uh, the heavy displacement. Okay? So, um, trim change is going to equal the trim moment divided by MTI. And trim moment can be broken down further into weight times distance divided by MTI. Now, here's the trick. This is not, we're not doing transverse, uh, uh, we're not doing transverse um, stability here. We're doing longitudinal stability. And weight and distance, uh, although it's the same formula, they're going to be defined differently. In this case, weight is going to be the total weight of the ship. okay? And the distance is going to be the trimming arm. 
So we're going to take the trimming arm from step two and apply it here in step three as D. And this W here is going to be this 17732. So W is the total weight of the vessel. D is the trimming arm or the trimming lever, GZL. So that is going to be 17732 times 3.4 divided by 1700, 1700 MTI from the table. And that is 35.5 inches. So our trim is going to change by 35.5 inches. Okay? Great. Well, here's the interesting thing. If you'll notice, longitudinal center of flotation uh, is not exactly at a midships. Now, of course, it should be really up here, but, you know, uh, it's not at a midships. If it had been at a midships, we could just take this 35.5 inches and apply half of it to the stern and half of it to the bow. But since it's not, and the boat is going to rotate around this point, uh, you're going to have uh, more... Uh, uh, change on the bow than you will on the stern. If the longitudinal center of flotation is dead center, right amidships, halfway between the perpendiculars, okay, then you could apply half and half here. But in this case, we're going to have to figure out a ratio. Okay, so step four here, all right, it looks like it's kind of a continuation of the step one, but it's really step four, apply trim change. Okay, well, we're not going to do this because we know that LCF is not dead center. And now we're, we're trying to be a little bit more accurate than, uh, than just doing half and half, which is a good approximation, but not going to get you the Coast Guard answer. So we're not doing that. The vessel actually trims around the longitude center flotation, which is near but not at amidships. And uh, we're going to do it in two steps. We're going to calculate the trim change forward. Okay. Trim change forward. All right. Um, and, uh, and we'll start with that one, uh, because, uh, uh, this, the forward, uh, uh, perpendicular is our reference point. That's going to be the trim change, 35.5 times this ratio. This ratio is the distance aft that the LCF is from the forward perpendicular divided by the entire length between perpendiculars. Okay. So here's a forward perpendicular, aft perpendicular. Turns out for this vessel, it's not shown on this page, but for this vessel, the American Mariner, the length between perpendiculars is 528. So 35.5, that's trim change. 277, that was the LCF that we got out of the uh, dead weight scale. And 528 is the length between perpendiculars, which means of the change in trim, 35.5, 18.6 is going to happen on the bow. Okay, which is a little bit more than half. 35.5, uh, half of that is whatever, I don't know, it's like 17 and, and, and some change. Okay, so we're actually going to have 18.6 trim change of the forward draft. Now, how much is going to be the change of the after draft? Well, it'll be the balance, whatever is remaining at 35.5. Another way of saying that is, Subtract 18.6 from 35.5, and that'll be our trim trim change aft. So trim change aft equals trim change minus trim change forward. So trim change is 35.5. Trim change forward was 18.6. That means that our trim change aft will be 16 inches. Okay, And I knew that it was going to be more forward because there's a longer uh, distance here. Okay, there's a shorter distance here. So whichever is the longer distance will get a little bit greater change in, in uh, a little bit more than half of the trim change. And whichever one is a shorter distance will get a little less than half of the trim change. Okay, so final step here is what are the final drafts? Well, what are the drafts here? Okay, well, it turns out that uh, we're going to have to apply the uh, trim change forward and the trim change after the mean draft. Well, what is the mean draft for this vessel? Well, we extracted it back here. Okay. Uh, our, this was our displacement. Here is our draft, 2508. So remember, for this table, this hydrostatic table here, hydrostatic properties, this dead weight scale, you can call it whatever you want. This is assuming the vessel is on an even keel with no list in still water, hydrostatic. Okay, water static. Okay, so uh, that means that the vessel in this situation is 2608 at all drafts. No hogging, no sagging either. So we're going to start off with that. Or excuse me, not 26, 25. We're going to start off with 2508. Now we're going to apply our change. We're going to have 
apply 18.6 to the bow and 16.9 to the stern. We're going to add one to one and subtract one from the other. Well, we're going to subtract 18.6 from the bow. We'll add 16.9 to the stern, and that will be our final drafts.